let's move on to our next story. The federal government has vowed to arrest and also prosecute the airline travel agents that cancelled the return tickets of 230 Nigerian football fans stranded uh, after the 2018 World Cup tournament in Russia. The Nigerian ambassador to Russia, Professor Steve Ugba, said this on an online video statement made available by the spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Abuja on Sunday. Now, he made the government's position known while addressing the stranded Nigerians in Moscow, Russia, before their departure to Nigeria. And the NAN has further reported that over 150 stranded Nigerian football fans besieged the Nigerian embassy in Moscow on the, on the 12th of July for assistance at the end of the 2018 World Cup tournament. Chukudi, this is so disheartening. People go abroad and want to support Nigeria out of so much patriotism, and we still cannot seem to get one thing right. <laughs> it's most unfortunate, but I think that we should discuss this in the context of people taking advantage of responsible people. Mm. And we must not look away from the fact that certain people would want to abuse the system. Because, in all honesty, people have said, me, I mean, when you pay for a ticket that you're supposed to go to and fro, and you have a situation where you come back to complain that at the end of the day, uh, they cancelled it, you could not return, then there's some sort of, you know, backyard or 419 runs in the arrangement. But other people have argued that some of these agents, you know, pay with scam credit cards. And when they eventually find out, they cancel and it's a problem. But it was so disheartening and heartbreaking to see a lot of Nigerians, you know, sleep or spend the night in front of the Nigerian embassy in Russia. And Russia is not a place. See, there are countries you go to and you want to even try and see how you can, you know, in Canada, Nigeria, for example, uh, you can hey. trek now and you now say you want to seek asylum. My sisters, if you go to Russia, don't try that with Vladimir Putin. They will send you to Siberia. And if you spend five years in Siberia, five years in Siberia is like 25 years any other place in the world. Mm -hmm. They will give you axe to carve rock. You must, you, <laughs> it's not beans. So when people think, okay, let me raise this fund and see if I can, you know, maybe spend some time in Russia, then try to seek asylum or run to some other European country, it's a major problem. But the truth is, this is an indication of man's inhumanity to man, where people just look at the situation and try to swindle you. Because some of these people paid as much as 2 million naira for a period of one month to support the survivors of Nigeria in Russia. And to be swindled at the end of the day and to create this national embarrassment where the president had to order that please uh, lift these people and bring them to the country. It was even reported that he tried to seek audience with the ambassador. The ambassador just felt, I don't want to listen to you people. It's a major problem. So what we must do is try to address these issues because all of these paint us in bad light. I mean, 419 is 419 because that is what Nigeria is known for. And it's even the section of the law. Section Advanced fee yes. fraud, where we say 41, that was where they got it from. And when we say we want to correct a lot of the negative perceptions, you know, that people in the world hold about Nigerians, these are ways through which we can do so. I mean, people respect us for our creativity. I mean, our jersey sold out. We had um, uh, Europeans doing Ashwebi with the Nigerian jersey. So if we want to create a kind of, um, you know, perception that people would say, indeed, these people are really on the path to correcting a lot of the, you know, wrongs of the past, then we must begin to, you know, little by little, try to see how we can stem this in the board. Now, the agents that have swindled people of their funds and are living large, must be brought to book is simple. Use technology, get them, and let them pay for their sins. Does this uh, mean that if by the next World Cup tournament, Nigeria hopefully makes it, you know, to go into the World Cup, does this mean that it will affect the number of Nigerians that would go to show support? Well, people would want to be wise. But then again, it's passion. I mean, if I, if I cannot afford two million naira, I would just stay at home, you know, go to one of the fun parks or watch it on TV. But these are people who can afford or maybe, you know, saved so that they would go and enjoy the experience. The truth is, you cannot convince a Nigerian not to do what he wants to do. I mean, people were brought back from Libya. Other people still went with the mindset of, now who the cash, now he be thief. Now, if we have a situation like this, we must make it... I was reading, you know, something in the news about how much was spent by fans that went to, uh, you know, Russia for the World Cup. This was a period of one month, and it was upward of 1.3 billion euros. Wow. In one month, you know, restaurants, hotels, transportation, um, you know, um, sports um, goods and the rest of them. Now, if people can spend this much, you would know that it's essentially the passion to have that first-hand experience of the World Cup. So what we must begin to do is not be, you know, reactive, but be proactive. We know in Qatar 2022, a lot of people would want to go and 
you know, our population would have even increased more. Mm -hmm. A lot of people would want to go and see the World Cup if Nigeria qualifies. So we must begin to put things in place that will make it easier for them. We saw the embarrassment in the game against Argentina. The stadium looked like it was only the Argentines that came to see the game. Mm -hmm. People said that they could not even get access to tickets mm -hmm. to go and view these games. So we must stop all this, our, oh, it's a Nigerian mentality approach to issues and begin to deal with issues seriously so that people will take us serious. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.